Sharon, Micah, we're going to do something you haven't been able to do in two years. There you go. Big moment. The fence is gone after two years and people walking by. I would say there's a unique energy here tonight. They stop and tell us they're so happy they can just walk up the crosswalk and walk right into the park. Don't have to walk all the way around to get in through that fence. That fence that was put up after some controversial use of police force, but now some fear that taking it down could actually disrupt the peace in the park. <laughs> A sunny Monday in Echo Park Lake, geese feeding where a chain link perimeter fence once stood. Move back, move back, move back, move back. The fence was put up after this scene two years ago this week. Hundreds of protesters clashed with police over the closure of a sprawling homeless encampment. People were scared to walk in the park back then, day or night. Since then, the city spent $600,000 to clear tons of trash, repair lighting and bathrooms, and restrict entry points to the park. Councilmember Hugo Soto Martinez says the barrier will be completely removed by the end of the week. And he said that once the fence comes down, there's going to be 24 7 security. So we just want to make sure that he keeps his word and um, there's security here once the fence is down to keep the park safe the way it, it was with the fence up. Emily Lee is part of the community organized Save the Fence group. She says she would prefer the fence stay up and knows a lot of other people in Echo Park who feel the same. It made the park safe, made the area safer um, when it was down, because we all lived here when it was down as well. It was chaotic. The group would like to see a more aesthetically pleasing permanent fence. It took a lot of our you know, taxpayers money to make sure the park is clean and safe the way it is. We already went through how it was when the fence was down, you know, the loud noise, the partying at night, the criminal activity. I mean, there was people dying here, overdosing, dying here. There was rapes going on here. There was animal abuse here. We don't want that to happen again. You know, we want to be able to come to a park and, you know, be able to exercise and feel safe. But not everyone thinks the fence is a solution. Jails should be fenced in, not parks. Valerie Zeller used to live in Echo Park. She has housing now and understands why people say the fence helped keep the park clean, but says it was a temporary fix to the greater issue of homelessness. I love that this is gone. The fence was a horrible, horrible thing. I think it was a, a good a temporary fix. The people who've walked by saying they were happy to just walk into the park also say they understand why the fence was there and are happy to see the park much cleaner than before. I spoke with Soto Martinez office tonight. They referred me to the statement they released earlier saying there will be unarmed uh, presence here, not necessarily police in case they need it after dark here in the park. And they also did not confirm when the fence will be down. But Sharon Micah, this side clear and open. The other side where all the geese are squawking right now, uh, still fenced up in Echo Park. Samantha Cortez, KTLA 5 News. All right, Sam, thank you.